we just get in the car? I was on my way home and I saw this old dog just hardly able to lift his head and had given up on life. It felt like he was close to death's door. But I could tell he'd had an owner, so you could tell his heart was broken. Hey, have you ever been in a car? And I just thought you just have to rescue now and think later. Yum, yum. Let's see if this would be a total fluke if you actually just got in the car. So I was able to get the slip leash on him pretty easily. Let's try and get him in the car. Like, I was like, wow, that worked. I can't believe he did that. Uh, so I think this guy's been in a car before. But look at him. Just chilling. He was like, hey, let's go, lady. Drive me. Henry, hi. I called him Henry on the spot. We went to the vet where we started his rehabilitation. You ready to go home? He's enjoyed his massage and his hot butt shower. Haven't you, bud? His transformation was really based around comfy bed, great food, beautiful walks, explore the world. He learned what the bed was pretty quickly, so we had to put some restrictions around that. His personality just started to shine, probably around the four week mark. And I think the walks really helped him. Good boy. He really just got the spring in his step. Hey Sadie, it's okay, I'm coming. Sadie is another rescue dog of mine. She brought out his happiness. They're best friends and he's just gorgeous with her. I just didn't want to break his heart again. And I also fell in love with him, so I decided to adopt him. I'm banned from fostering from my own organisation because I can't give them up once I've had them. He's such a loving, beautiful, gentle soul. He's so happy. It was meant to be, it was serendipity. We turned up at the same place at the same time. I guess we kind of chose each other. 